My name is Matthias. I come uh, with Synops, an ELN and data management tool. First of all, greetings from Slovenia, a neighboring country from uh, with Hungary, uh, where most of uh, Synops uh, uh, R&D team is, although we are a US company. Uh, let's get straight to the problem. So, as my predecessor told you, uh, data uh, science and data they have a problem. So, uh, at least in uh, life sciences or in science in general, um, data doubles every three years. More than 50% of studies, including the published ones, cannot be verified. Everyone who's been in the lab knows that. Uh, and a lot of data is being lost, simply lost, every, uh, every year. So we believe that the ELN or data management uh, tools are uh, the key. Uh, and what's the point of ELN? So, of course, uh, it stores the data uh, securely. Um, it should uh, uh, in include some, at, at least basic uh, levels of project management. Um, it should ensure that uh, members of the team communicate between each other, and it should connect the users with the processes, the data, um, results, inventories, and so on. And it should also be responsible for uh, data being interoperable. So uh, we've designed Synote with the users in mind, and we've published a few conclusions uh, in these articles. One of them uh, is that it's worth to use uh, an ELN uh, on our still uh, slightly limited uh, study. We've proven that users can save up to nine hours per week simply because of increased efficiency. Uh, and it doesn't go with, without an investment, so you have to invest some hours into uh, getting the tool, uh, uh, to getting proficient in the tool. So um, we believe that ELNs should play a central role in reproducibility um, and making uh, science a bit more um, time and cost effective. So the vision, the grand vision of Synod is to become the tool that uh, scientists and researchers will be using on a daily basis to manage the data. And um, uh, it should facilitate uh, them to be a bit more efficient. So uh, in a bit more futuristic goals, we would like to become, for example, um, the scientific companion uh, like Jarvis for an Ironman. Um, what we will be focusing on in Synode is to build capabilities of the lab, lab notebook features, managing inventories, um, experiments and protocol management, uh, publishing, of course, uh, and integrating uh, data, which also means integration with third-party tools such as Chemaxon, uh, that uh, manipulate data, uh, send data uh, forward and backward. And like most of the people here dealing with software, we are uh, investing and are going to continue to invest into um, artificial intel intelligence um, capabilities, business intelligence, and even augmented reality. So why am I here? Well, we've uh, developed a prototype of uh, integration uh, with Marvin.js. So we've asked our users, what would you like to uh, use from the Chemax and Suite? And the answer was very clear. Uh, and we also uh, had uh, the um, um, uh, clear use cases. And uh, this is the video. So can you please play it? So this is how Synode looks like. So. You have uh, several projects as the top level of organization uh, of your data. Uh, and inside each project, you can have one or more experiments. Each experiment, in turn, is uh, um, a chain of one or more tasks. In this case, it's a workflow how scientists would organize their work for a real-time PCR or PCR experiment. And inside the task, where a lot of magic happens, so inside the task, you can have, uh, for example, hosted a protocol, which compose out of one or more steps. Um, and uh, here is where we've uh, integrated Marvin. You can also um, complete the protocol if you would like to, so use it as a digital protocol in the lab. So we've integrated Marvin JS uh, with uh, all of the text fields where you can create uh, and insert um, chemical structures. This is now available for 
uh, resizing. You can download it, um, edit it again if you would like to, and that's all updated. And uh, we've added the same capabilities also in the steps, for example. Uh, on this step, I would like to attach a chemical uh, structure or um, um, a whole reaction, uh, and that is then added as an entity to the step and is available uh, for use. It's also editable uh, in much the same way as a previous um, integration. So it's all very simple. So our software developers had zero complaints about the integration, and it was done in a very, very short time. So congratulations to Chemaxon for having a very integrable uh, tools. Um, what are the next steps? We will be expanding the Marvin JS integration uh, and uh, focusing also on integrating other Chemaxon tools based on our user feedback. We've had a very cold March, April, and May, so this is a Christmas hello from Synode team, and uh, thank you for your attention. I'll be here today and tomorrow for any questions and demos.